You gotta take a shower. You gotta bathe. Right. Good morning, you guys. I sleep with this robe under my pillow because let me tell you, it is cold in the mornings. Sitting on my phone for a few minutes. Can you tell I'm not a morning person? Child, my 10,000 alarm going off. I am definitely not a morning person. To me, I feel like the mornings are colder than the nighttime. I don't know, maybe it's just me. So the first task of the day is making my bed. I like to have my bed made before I even step out of the room. It just gives you that sense of accomplishment before you take on the day, before you start anything. And coming back home to a made bed, like it feels really nice. You just jump right and you fall right in it. At this point, we're gonna head into the bathroom. So the first thing I like to do once I'm in here is go in with my natural minty toothpaste. Then I'm going in with my third breath mouthwash. Child, I almost swallowed the crap. Miss Zombie. Um, child. Anyway, so I'm gonna wash my hands now so that I can start doing my skincare. I make sure I really scrub my skin because what you think you're doing with the makeup wipes and the cotton rounds, you're not really doing. You need to get in there and exfoliate your skin. Fubi cold. A personal preference of mine is that I like to dry my face with a paper towel. I prefer this because I don't have to worry about any bacteria being left on hand towels or any body towel that I'm using. And I dispose of it. It's very simple. I'm a fast deal. And then I'm going in with my rose water toner. Then with my facial mist, simply to bring back the moisture into my skin. And the toner would have dried it out. Now my intention isn't to wipe it off with the cotton rod. I'm just dabbing it into my skin so that it dries quicker because I didn't have my fan with me. Then I'm gonna go in with some lotion, moisturize my skin. After that, applying some snail mucin to bring hydration and even skin tone. Well, attempting to. I'm still trying her out. Not sure how I feel about her just yet. Going in with my Vaseline lip balm for these dry lips. So after doing my skincare, I go into the kitchen and start preparing some breakfast. This morning I'm having a protein parfait. Now, I love me some good, like a good parfait. This one has berries and dried fruits in it. I usually make my parfait from scratch, so I was extremely excited to try this one out, especially how it was already pre-made. Only thing I had to do is dump the fruits right in and go about my day. Miss, I mean, that's perfect, ideal. I'm not feeling for some strawberries right now, so I'm gonna go in with some raspberries instead and some blueberries. I really believe these raspberries are what strawberries are trying to be because, listen, I enjoyed them. They're really nice. Okay guys, so first bite. I feel it's missing something. It's missing a little razzle dazzle. So let's add some honey. Now, on my way from the store, the honey, I don't know how what happened, but the jar became um, open. I'm not sure how that happened or if it was already open in the store and I didn't realize, but okay, now let's try this again. I didn't really get the taste in the first bite. And y'all know it's good when you start looking at them ingredients list mm -hmm. to see what all in there. Wow. It's good. Like that little razzle dazzle. Mwah. Chef's kiss. Bailan bon. Bailan go. Mkone no go go. Here. Have some. I'm just fixing the little spoon for you to take a nice big bite. Mmm. 
yeah so after i've gotten some to eat i like to go in and try to get into a meditative state and do some meditation or do some affirmations basically my bones be cracking like i'm an old lady y'all and that bag be hurting like i don't know like i have five kids and <laughs> I carry the weight of the world on my shoulders. That's the like I need to have constant massages. That's the goal for this year going into the next class. So you know, I like to I like to get myself together. Like get myself in the right mindset and in my right mind frame. And um Knowing because I feel like the world is more quiet, like the world is asleep, earth is asleep, you know what I mean? And so it feels more peaceful, and I can gather my thoughts then. Plan if I have time to make a plan for the day, plan for the week, in the morning to structure my day, speak positivity into my day, call it in, so to say. I need sleep. I need to go back to sleep. I'm struggling. Your girl is struggling, y'all. So I also have a gratitude channel. Y'all. And this is what it looks like. I have some self improvements be more intentional about cleaning my space use my phone less in the mornings and today I have written down I'm grateful for my power my energy today I'm grateful for the great weather I am immensely grateful to be alive what bothers me let's do it <laughs> Something that's bothering me, so I've written down, something that's bothering me is my IG being, noticing the amount of monitoring spirits on my IG and spectators. How to resolve it? I have get back into my routine, two weeks post guard <laughs> and also guard my mouth keep my mouth shut not everything needs to be said not everyone who smiles on your face is your friend saying saying way less and show and showing less is in my best interest what i love about this gratitude journal is you have this option you have space there for you to add your your dates it's not written in for you or hard-coded you have the happy moments quote of the day morning reflections, three things that you're grateful for, what's bothering you, how to resolve it, self-improvement, tomorrow, what I want to do, how I feel, how I felt today, so like winding down, you know, you write that down, and evening reflections, I love this, because y'all, life can be very, very, very hard though. I can kick you in your mouth when you're down and because it's it's all you're always on the go you're always up and about like it's happening it's like the time is flying by so fast you're always you know what I mean so you don't have time to realize the little things in your life that you should be grateful for you woke up today somebody in this world or many people many people actually didn't get that privilege you have a house over your head you have food to eat you can walk you can talk you can do things for yourself a lot of people are not fortunate enough to do that and to do those things so taking time out of your day to reflect on all of the things that you do have we all have problems we all have issues but showing gratitude for what we do have is very very crucial y'all it also brings in more blessings to your way so try practicing that not gonna shove it down your throat but try doing that and if you do do that let me know in the comments how do you go about it like, what prompts do you use to get you writing because even getting into this like you 
wanna feel sometimes I don't feel more we all have we have all we all have things going on but you have to have a grateful heart you have to know that nothing in this life is guaranteed you have to know that tomorrow is not promised you're not old tomorrow and I know I'm about to start venting but I feel like we as humans like we take a lot of things for granted like be, you probably woke up today and you just carried on about your day you didn't even say thank you God for waking me up today if you don't believe in God child then <laughs> whatever you believe in you have to you have to believe in something in this world if you stand for nothing you fall for it like you fall for anything Whatever source you believe in, I'm not gonna force my religion onto you. I'm not gonna force my spirit, my spirituality onto you. So whatever you believe in, you gotta like you have to acknowledge that source for waking you up today because he didn't have to. He did not have to. You you're not old. You're not promised tomorrow. That's one thing in this life that there is no guarantee for. Absolutely no guarantee. So. I'm sitting in front of you, um, ranting, ranting, but y'all, by the end of this year, this gratitude journal needs to be filled, okay? So, hold me accountable. <laughs> hold my ass accountable, okay? Today is... It's today's day. Today is the 20th. Happy moments. Well, the day ain't start yet, so, but happy moment mm. and then you start yeah so what's a happy moment <laughs> what's bothering me what's bothering me <sighs> overwhelming feeling that there isn't enough time in the day mm. also waking up earlier y'all I love my sleep okay I need to get me my beauty sleep at all times okay I don't know no sleep hate to see me coming sleep absolutely hate to see me coming okay cuz I could I could stay in bed and have like eight hours of sleep, nine hours of sleep, and the next day, shoes. Shit, even then, later on the same day, I don't wanna sleep again. I need to take a nap. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what it is, y'all. I don't, I don't know if it's mentally tired, physically, I don't know if it's physically, maybe spiritually, emotionally, I don't know. It's one of the, the Lees, definitely. And self improvement. The quote of the day, y'all, that I have is well, not inside the quote of the day, but this is my entry so far. This side I'm leaving blank to fill out. And um, I, can y'all understand my writing? This is the best y'all can get, guys. Anyway. For the quote of the day, I'm just gonna read that part out. It's from first, I like to use Bible verses. Sometimes I would get, you know, some quotes on the internet that I find that resonates with me, but the Bible verse of the day is, no temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond measure. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. Let me, let me read that again. No temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. And God is faithful. What I understand from this is he will not let you. It's basically self-explanatory as well. I don't even need to go into details. Like even when you are tempted, he said he won't let he didn't say he will not let you get tempted. He didn't it didn't say you won't be tempted. 
So don't go around here saying, why, why is this happening to me? Why am I being so tempted? It didn't say you won't be tempted. It said you won't be tempted more than you could bear. And this reminds me a lot about Job as well, when he was tempted. But it wasn't more than he could, I mean, shoot, it, it was a little, it was a little extreme. I don't want to overwhelm y'all if this ain't your cup of tea. But for the ones whose cup of tea this is, I hope you understood what I meant by this text. And, and if you have a different understanding of it as well, let us know. Let me know down in the comments if you interpreted it interpreted it if you did interpret it differently let me know as well in the comments because everybody have different views everybody have different perspectives if we all thought the same the world would make sense so yeah it's been that all right you guys miss zombie that's it for my morning routine y'all let me know know how you guys start your day let me know how you guys start your mornings feels very natural it comes to me natural because what i try to do is things that i would do anyway i incorporate those routines around it so that i'm not going out of my way i'm not doing anything more like i'm not doing too much of what i would normally do like for instance i had to take a shower you gotta bathe right so might as well you know do a little skincare do a little one too Take care of your skin, take care of your body, take care of yourself. When you look good, you feel good. And I don't care who are here talking about, or who you here talking about, looks don't matter. Child. We're not even gonna have that discussion right now. But, if you like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know in the comment section, y'all, a morning tip that you've incorporated in your routine that you think would help would be helpful for me because these are my basic routines and I'm trying to add more like but I'm trying to do it in levels and intervals like I don't want to overwhelm myself because I know if I do too much because I'm the queen of doing too much if I do too much it's I'm just not gonna do it there's gonna be no morning routine morning routine routine gonna be non-existent my blivy, bang it, if that's it. That's it. But we don't like that. comment, share, subscribe. Smash that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos or any time I drop a new video. And I will see y'all in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. I really feel like my voice, something is messed. Like my, my throat feels ticklish and I hate that shit. I hate it. I hate it, I hate it, I don't wanna get sick. Don't wanna get sick. But yeah, y'all, I will see you in the next video. And let me know what other videos you guys will want to see from me. So. Mm -hmm. And I'll look into that, y'all. Yeah.